of the pitfalls of extreme diets and wacky workouts, but what you're about to see is a masterclass in yo-yo dieting. Imagine dedicating your entire life to fitness and then throwing it all away to help someone else. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. JJ, nice to meet you, I'm Ray. Good to meet you too, Ray. Fit to Fat to Fit is a weight loss TV show with a big fat twist. JJ, the trainer, had to gain weight, a lot of weight, before helping Ray try to lose it. I have something to tell you. I'm going to be gaining 60 pounds from where I am right now so that I, I can better understand and relate to where you're coming from. We, we both wear our emotions on our sleeves. It's going to be an hour of two men sobbing. It, in one aspect, it breaks my heart that you're doing that to yourself. Part of me is just sad for you. Because I know what it's like, and it sucks, and I don't want anyone else to go there. Howdy, yo. I'm feeling very sick. We seriously might need to get like a garbage can nearby. You gained 61 pounds. Right. 184 to 245. Oh, that is awesome. 61 pounds in the space of? 120 days, 16 weeks. I mean, that cannot be good for you. <laughs> no, no, it's not recommended. What are you doing? Just trying to today. It was the hardest thing I have ever done in my life. I was not prepared for what it did to me mentally and emotionally. Like that, it, it wrecked me in every way. It's too much rice. You're kind of turning into a complainer. JJ's wife, Erica, is a nutritionist. Was he a bit of a nightmare? Yeah, he was a big nightmare. <laughs> Let's just say he was way worse than I am ever pregnant. <laughs> JJ was closely monitored by doctors. Cholesterol goes off the charts and your triglycerides are up and you become pre-diabetic and clinically obese. Medical experts caution this doesn't come without risk. There's very limited data on the deliberate weight gain and then weight loss of healthy individuals. Even if it's temporary over a long period of time, we don't know what the cumulative effects of that would be. Rise and shine. Mm -mm. I'm gonna sleep until dinner. It just felt like he was a totally different person. Like I didn't feel like he was my husband anymore. When I watched it, I was just thinking, why is this guy doing it to himself? Because he's nuts. I get a small glimpse and a new perspective as to just the, the struggles that come from uh, that place that you are in before you start that weight loss process. You now finally understand what it's like to be the fat guy. I was in a very, very dark place for most of that 120 days. What's up, man? How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing good. Four months ago, JJ, he was freaking ripped. JJ is in the Pudgy Boys Club. Then they both beat the bulge together. <laughs> Thanks, brother. You don't have to start off killing it. You don't start off killing it. I didn't go through four months of hell so you could give up on me. Prove to me that I didn't waste four months of my life. Find your breath, find your rhythm. You got this. Now, four months ago, this is so easy. Today, I feel like I'm dying. Now, Ray's motivation, apart from JJ and the TV cameras, is a big one. My wife and I are hoping to adopt. I don't think uh, someone's going to place a kid with us at 400 pounds. You know, I want to be that dad who goes out and goes hiking with his kids. And I want my children to be in awe of the man I am, like I am in awe of the man my dad is. Right. And uh, I'm not going to do that at 389 pounds. With basically a food addiction. You think it, most of this was just what Ray was putting into his body? Yeah. Yeah, 80%. All the cliches are true. Um, it's hard work and exercise, and you cannot outwork a bad diet. With this, Ugh. a bit of this, Ugh. a lot of this. You don't have to start off killing it. And not too much of this. Ray lost a whopping 147 pounds in just five months. Make no mistake about it, the cardiovascular system can be impacted on dramatic weight gain or weight loss. Uh, some of those impacts might be positive, some might be negative. Oh my God. 242? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me, dude? I wanna. Get on there, yeah! Oh my gosh, yeah! You lost a decent-sized human being. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we yeah. lost you. Yeah. <laughs> Again, that much that fast can also be dangerous. Again, doctors monitored Ray the whole way. Ray's wife, Julie, also lost 75 pounds doing the exercises JJ gave to Ray and the food plans from his wife, Erica. 
But the plan was not for you to lose weight as well. We live together, it's our lifestyle, so it wasn't difficult to jump on board. Their entire lifestyle now totally changed. Instead of just sitting around watching TV, at the end of the night, we'll challenge each other to a max plank contest. <laughs> You're in push-up position, but like on your elbows. Okay. And you see how long you can stay up. This is what you guys do for cakes in the evenings. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> and JJ is now back to his fighting weight of a little under 190 pounds and has his identity back. Your identity is, you know, the buff guy. That was my identity, but now I feel like I am so much more than just the buff guy, right? <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm more well-rounded and I come from a, a place of love rather than a place of judgment. Haven't you done yourself lasting damage? Oh, man, I don't know. Um, besides the, the few stretch marks I have on my hips, that's, uh, that's the only thing that I'm still carrying from, from this little adventure. You wear them with pride. I wear them with pride, I <laughs> love those stretch marks. <laughs> oh. Meanwhile, Ray and Julie are now all signed up, hoping to adopt a kid any day now. You could gain it all back in five months. Don't think I don't know that. Filming finished in October and Ray has not let himself go. He has, in fact, lost even more weight. I'm that, like, 13-year-old high schooler um, flexing in the mirror after a shower now. And on the day we visit for the first time in his life, Ray climbed a rope. That's what I'm talking about right there, dude. <laughs> I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Salt Lake City. Fit to Fat to Fit premieres Tuesday on A&E, which is owned in part by our parent company, Disney.